How can a man who seems so perfect cause so much pain, hurt and neglect? Dad, I begged, I pleaded, your cruelty still proceeded. For years you've kept me, your wife, my mum and everyone you care about under your control and your thumb. Why did we stay? Why have we been so dumb? We've had to watch the monster you've grown and become. He buys mum chocolates and the occasional flowers. But don't be fooled, he still has that threatening power. All the time, I dread the hour. 6pm feels like zero hour. I just wish my mum and I were stronger. Wish we had more help so this didn't go any longer. Dad, you're supposed to be her long life partner. Her prince charming, who's supposed to charm her. Her knight in shining armour, but her knight has turned into a nightmare. As he tries to harm her, as she begs him on her knees, please, I need you to be calmer. I beg you, please stop. I promise I never heard you. See, patience is a virtue. I didn't mean to hurt you. Please don't be mad. And please don't let the kids see, because it ain't right for a dad. It's sickening and mad how your madness makes me sick, dad. I'm coming home from school. Hurry, hurry, hurry. But I know I must stay calm. I cannot worry. My mum is ill and I know it's a shame, but the worst thing is there is no one to blame. Put my bag down and lock the front door. I know I shouldn't say it, but it feels like a chore. I go to the medicine cupboard, but is there really a cure? Is my help enough? I'm always unsure. Going to the tap, I grab a glass of cold water and be sure to check the medicine rotor. One pill, two pill, three pill, four. Sometimes I think I can't take it anymore. My mum is fast asleep at the corner of the bed and suddenly I get that awful feeling I dread. She's going to be okay, that's what I have to think. Am I wrong for wanting to fix this with a drink? Occasionally she'll get up and smile, but I know I can only get that once in a while. I don't blame her because she's sick and ill. Can something like this really be fixed by a pill? Sometimes she'll come down and have some tea, but wanting that to last is a useless plea. All I want to do is just try and forget, but I know the illness is a lifelong threat. There is something else that I regret. I know that I just have to get away from it all, you see. So yes, I have a drink, or a fag, or two, or three. Every day I'm put in a situation. Teenage drug and alcohol abuse is a problem across the nation. I hate it. The year 11s are so big. Now could I say no? I'm the only one in year 8 who has friends as old as Tom, Jack and Joe. So I go where they go. Do what they do. Smoke whatever they smoke. Drink till I can't think. I don't want to. It's not me. It's these older lads making me be something I don't want to be. It's making me feel so weird and I don't know how to stop. Waste man, they call me. You're nothing but a flop. Joe is the cool one, the head of the pack. He's hard as nails, not as smart as Jack. Tom's good with the girls, he has all the chat. I'm the little one, trying to fit him. But maybe that's my future, being put in the bin. It's funny, I say this now, till tomorrow, it starts again. Just going round and round.